my name is Heather Crawley. I am a Water Conservation Program Coordinator for Hillsborough County Extension Service. And today we're gonna to be discussing composting and the benefits not only for the environment, but also for your mental health. And today I have Jen here with me to help us get started. Heather, what do we need to get started? I see we have a couple of things here. Yes, so a uh, place to collect your compost in a, some type of bin. Um, you're also gonna need a place to collect your kitchen scraps. Um, and then a thermometer to help you measure the temperature of the pile. That is one large thermometer. It That's is. Great. It goes deep into the pile. Um, thermophilic bacteria are heat loving. Those are the guys that break down your compost the fastest. And so you want to make sure that you keep the temperature range in between 120 to 150 degrees. Wow. So those guys are happy and breaking that down as fast as possible. So this is our, our bin per se. I know we can probably do it without a bin. Some people do it just in a, with a pile in their yard. This bin in particular though is adjustable to your size needs, right? It is, absolutely. So you, this is something that you would get if you come to the extension office and take our workshop. Then you get the bin, the bucket, and the thermometer. And it's adjustable to your environment. So as large or as small as you'd like, it's very simple to put together. Um, you just take the pin, stick it into the slot, and turn the pin and now you can get started. So easy. So once we have this in our yard, what, what is the first, what's the base layer that we would put in? So you would want to gather some small sticks or uh, branches and put those in the bottom. That's going to give you airflow to the bottom of the pile. The microbes that are inside that pile are alive, and so they need the same things that we do. They need food, air, and water. Um, and so by putting those small sticks, you're giving that airflow to the bottom of the pile, which also helps to increase the heat. Okay, so we've got our base layer of sticks um, on the bottom. What next? A good ratio to remember is three inches of brown items like cardboard, leaves, um, uh, eggshells to okay. one inch of green. And one inch of green would be like your plant scraps or your kitchen scraps from, um, from inside. Uh, if you can remember three inches of brown to one inch of green, you're gonna have a really good ratio and happy microorganisms. And you just keep layering and yes, layering yeah. and layering. Absolutely. And can we talk about the temperature for a second? I know we have the thermometer that we're going to test our soil, our compost. How, how is the heat generated? So the heat is generated from the inside out. It's not, not necessarily created by the sun. Um, those bacteria are alive. Um, there's three different types of bacteria that thrive in the compost pile, and thermophilic bacteria are the ones that break it down the fastest. Um, and they're the guys that love the heat. So when you turn that pile, mm -hmm. um, you are creating that heat from the inside out. That is so neat. And how often should we be turning the pile? Every time you add something to your compost bin, you want to turn that pile. You want to prevent your food scraps from being on the top because that's going to attract nuisance critters like raccoons or possums. So every time you add something, especially food scraps, you want to turn that pile, kind of get those leaves on top, get the soil that's already broken down in there um, onto the top so that it eliminates that, that nuisance critters. Wonderful. So once we do this, how long does it take before we can actually start using our compost as fertilizer? It usually takes about three to five months, depending on, on how fast you, you add and how much you turn the pile. Okay, and then we can use this as fertilizer. Is it good for any, anything else that I'm not thinking about? Uh, yeah, it's good for your gardens. It's good to increase the organic content of your soil. Um, it can be used as a compost tea. So if you have plants that are in a planter and that you can't necessarily add soil to because um, too much soil can um, cause root rot around certain plants. Um, so if you have plants that are um, unable to add soil um, or organic amendments, then that way you would make a compost tea and you could just spray it in there. So they're still getting the nutrients and minerals that they need without having that extra soil around their base. That's fantastic. This is obviously good for our environment. How does it also benefit us mentally? Um, so composting and gardening in general are excellent source of exercise. Um, it provides stress release, you're communing with nature. Um, when you're lifting bags of mulch, you're, you're working your large muscle groups. You're sore the next day. You can burn as many calories as you do in the gym. Honestly, a good day in the garden 